So let's see what is all here in the Bootstrap grid system. Bootstrap includes a responsive mobile first fluid grid system. As I said, like this all responsive web design is possible because of this grid system itself. Bootstrap grid system scales up to 12 columns, all right, as the device and viewport size increases. Basically, the concept is here we will have 12 columns, all right. So there are 12 columns. Now, for a big screen, what you can do, you can maybe uh, use three columns for one detail, maybe the coming one for some header, and here you can use few more columns like this. But for a small screen, you may want a single detail at first row. So the same 12 columns can be like, here are three, then again, you can split the remaining things on the next line. So it all depends on how you want these 12 columns to use. If you are using uh, more than 12 columns, means if the total columns you have consumed is more than 12, then the remaining data will be fallen into the next line. We'll see that all in the practical implementation. These 12 columns can be used accordingly on the basis of different screen sizes. All right, as I said, like it all depends like how you want to consume your 12 columns. So uh, let's see how these 12 columns can be managed or how we can check like uh, which is your large screen and small screen. So basically it is all depending on the number of pixels that you can check while working on any screen. I'll show you that on the uh, practical implementation itself since I'm working in a laptop of maybe a 14 inch screen. So uh, I cannot show you the large devices because the pixel number will be way more. Yes, for the other things, if the number of pixels is less than 768, then it will be used maybe mobile device, all right? Extra small devices means mobile device, maybe five inch, 5.5 inch mobile screen if you're working with. So it will be like that. Number of columns will be 12 for all screen sizes, as I said, all right? Class prefix means when you will be splitting the num uh, those 12 columns like how much columns you want in first uh, means on a for a particular column all right class prefix these class prefix means the css classes of bootstrap will help you to split those 12 columns into different numbers for example for the extra small devices if you are going to plan a column you want all the 12 columns to be there in the first row but for a small device you want uh, two details should be there so you can include six and six columns in the uh, first row all right while for the small device you can consume all the 12 columns for the first row so these are the different things which you have to plan for different screen sizes so these are the column prefix like call hyphen access maybe if you want to occupy all the 12 so it will be hyphen 12 but if you are working with a small device, maybe any tablet, all right, any tabs, so call hyphen sm hyphen six. For a particular div tag, I want to dedicate six columns out of 12. Again, for medium devices, like your laptop, 14, 15 inches, so you can work with the uh, MD, like medium devices, and again, you can just pass, like how many columns you want to, to be there, to be used by a particular div and lg means large monitor sizes which you may have seen all right like two columns for one particular div so the same uh, designing which we are doing for the different screen sizes will look differently so let's start working with this grid system practically and see how a same page can have a different layouts for the different screen sizes so before getting started with the grid system, let me tell you the changes which I have made. First, I have put all the script tags in the head section. Previously, it was there in the body. If you want, you can continue putting them in the body section. And apart from that, I have added one more style sheet, uh, which I have created by myself here, that is styles.css, where I just put some attributes for customizing any div tag. All right. So now let's get started with that. 
So basically, while working here, what I'll do, I'll just start putting a div tag here. And what I'll do inside, I'll just make it nested. All right. So this is div inside a div. So this is, let's say, first div. And similarly, let's copy them two more times. And let's make changes in the text. All right. Now, in order to start working with the grid system, what I'll do on the outer div section, I will pass a class name with the name call hyphen lg hyphen. You will get some options. All right. As here you can see, from 1 to 12, you are getting all the options. So it depends on you how much columns you want to dedicate for a single uh, div. All right. As we know, the total of all the things which we want to put on the same line should be 12. So let's say here for the first one, I put 2 as a column. Similarly here, what I'll do is class call LG. Let's say I want to put 8 columns out here. And again, for the third one, I will say class call LG. Two. So 2 plus 8 plus 2, the total is 12. All right. And here, what I'll do, I'll again put a class so that it will give you a clear output. And here, I'll use my box div, which I defined by myself. So let's copy that and paste it here in the remaining two as well. Save it. And now let's execute it. All right. So here you can see all the three DIVs are there in the different rows. So what I'll have to do now to start working with this, I will put one more DIV and will use a class called row so that all these DIVs will be there on a same row. All right. So let's close this DIV at the end. All right. And now let's refresh this. And now here you can see the first DIV, second DIV and third DIV. Total it is 12 and it is very properly occupying the complete width. If you want to check the width, what you can do, you can first open the development mode and now you can vary the width size. All right. As here you can see the pixels are being shown. All right. So the first one is the width for which we are working with. So for here, I have just defined the width for the large. So as soon as you will move out from the large size, it will show its default way to put the DIVs. All right. If you want to make different styles for the different screen sizes, you will all have to define right here as well. So for example, let's take one more DIV out here. And here I'll say fourth div. All right. Now let's change the width size here. So for the first, I'll say it should be three. For second, it should be three again for the third one. And fourth one. All right. I guess I have put one extra. So let's remove that. So here make it fourth div. All right, let's come here and refresh. Now you can see there are four div in the same line. All right. Now what is happening here? If I'll move from the large screen and I'm coming for the middle size, what I want at that particular time. So for that, what I'll do, I'll just give a space and start giving another uh, style here in the same line call. That is the medium devices. And for the first one, I want six columns to be occupied. All right. So the first column, the first div will occupy six column out of 12. Second will also take six columns. Okay. Let me copy that because I'm going to put the same for the remaining two. So now you can see the total is exceeding 12. The one and two, the total is 12. So what will happen 
as soon as the things will come out from the large screen aspect in the medium size screen at a single row there will be two DIVs all right and then the next next two DIVs will be shifted in the other rows so let's refresh that and let's start changing the screen sizes so as soon as the size will be the width of the window will be under the range of small devices medium devices you can find that there is first div second div third div and fourth div all right so because now both of these particular divs are taking six column each out of 12 from that and again if i am coming from the medium device to the smaller device again it will be like one after another I have just passed one more attribute in the box div class that is margin 5 pixels so that when they are coming on the different rows output should be clearer so let's re-execute this so initially when it is large screen they are coming four divs on single row when it is coming from the, to the middle device middle size devices so in that it is one two at one row and third fourth in the another because both of these divs on the same row are occupying six columns each and same is for the next row as well so very similarly you can design it for the small and extra small devices so what i'll do here call sm that is for the smaller size i will continue with the same like six for each all right means whether you are going for the medium device monitor or a tablet i want to keep it in a very same way so it is six if you want to make some changes you can do that as well okay so let's do that in fact i want eight and four for the first and again eight and four for the second row so now let's again execute this so starting from the large here it comes medium sized devices and now here it comes the small devices where you can clearly see the first div is showing more content of it maybe the first and third contents are more important for me than the second and fourth that's why i took this decision so it's all depends on the strategy what you want to do and here for the small devices it's automatically coming one for each row all right so this is automatically coming but if you want you can again do that so let's see how we can do it's actually very simple in the very same way what i'll do i'll use x's all right and here i'll say 12 so it will completely take all the 12 columns all right so let's do it for all the columns let's save it and let's re-execute this all right so it will actually not make any difference because for small devices it was automatically coming in this way all right so these are the basic things for working on the grid system so this is all about the grid systems provided by the bootstrap